Alright, in today's video, let's talk about how to progress on weighted pull-ups, pretty much how to increase the weight that is going to lead to building muscle and getting stronger. So let's dive right into today's video. And first and foremost, if you actually clicked on today's video, I kind of assume that you write down your own workouts and you have some level of progressive overload already happening in your training. Because if you're actually not writing down your workouts and writing down your numbers, how can you actually progress if you don't know what you're actually lifting week to week? So, if you actually are not writing down your workouts, make sure to do so because any of the stuff that I'm about to talk about isn't going to be relevant to you if you actually aren't writing down your workouts. And now, let's dive right into today's video. How to progress on weighted pull-ups is going to depend massively on your current training experience because obviously as a beginner, it's going to be much easier to progress than when you are an advanced athlete. So, in this video, I'm going to go through progression as a beginner, intermediate or advanced trainee because it is going to differ depending on the training experience. But right now, let's dive into progression as a beginner. As a beginner, you will make the most amount of progress on your weighted pull-ups that you will ever make in your entire training career. You will literally see the biggest increase of weights relative to time that you will ever see in your entire training life and the amount of weight progress that you can make as a beginner in one week can be the exact same as the amount of weight progress as an intermediate trainee in a month or as an advanced trainee in a year. And that is simply because you are new to the exercise and new to this type of training. And so as a beginner, you really don't have to do that much to actually make progress on weighted pull-ups. The only thing that you have to do is to keep the rep range the same week to week to week and try to progress and add weight every single session or every week while staying in the same rep range. And to give you guys an example, maybe you choose a rep range of about five reps. Week one, you will do five kilograms week 2 6.25 week 3 seven and a half and obviously week to week to week you will be able to progress on your weighted pull-ups and if you hit a plateau on your weighted pull-ups as a beginner the only thing you need to do is to change of the rep range so if you're always doing sets of five you can go and do sets of eight and then progress in that rep range for a couple of weeks time until you hit a plateau on that rep range and then you can go back to five reps and you will find that you'll be able to do more weight on five reps than you could do when you actually hit that plateau in the first place so as a beginner the only thing you really need to do is to work in one rep range at a time and that is pretty much all you have to do as a beginner to make progress at your weighted pull-ups and what i would advise you to do is to make progress on this setup for as long as you possibly Possibly can. Don't make your program or your training more complicated if you don't have to. Really keep it simple for as long as possible and once you really hit a plateau on pretty much all rep ranges, that is when you can actually go to the intermediate level of progress and that is what I'm going to talk about right now. As an intermediate trainee, you simply won't be able to make additional progress if you only work in one rep range every single week. So the logical next step would be to work in different rep ranges throughout the week and start doing things like having heavy days and medium or low days. And to give you guys an example, if you have two pull days every single week, on one day you will do sets of maybe three or four reps, and then on the other day you will do sets of about six to eight reps. That way you work in different rep ranges throughout the week, and what you can do then is you simply try to progress on that rep range once again week to week to week. And at this point, it also makes sense to start working in rep ranges and not fixed reps. What I mean by that is pretty much start doing sets of five and start doing things like working in between four and six reps. Because at this point, your progress is going to become slower and slower and slower. And this is going to be important because when you're working in much broader rep ranges, what you can do is you can pretty much have X amount of kilograms on you. You can do for four reps, next week, five reps, week after that, six reps, once you hit six reps and you get in the top of your rep range, you can then increase the weight going back down to four before doing this entire progress all over again. And just like on the beginner level, when you actually hit a plateau on both rep ranges that you're currently working in, simply change up the rep range. So if you're working in four to six and six to eight, what you can do if you hit a plateau is simply start working in two to three reps and six to eight reps. Improve in that rep range for a bit, then go back to the original rep range and you will find that you probably will break through the plateau in a matter of a couple of weeks. And then also towards the end of the intermediate level, what you can start doing is start working with top sets and back offsets. 
pretty much combining multiple rep ranges in one single session. And that means starting off with one set in the strength rep range, let's say it's at a three, and then after that one set, you're gonna drop the weight and then go do some back off sets in a higher rep range, let's say six to eight. And that way you're actually covering multiple rep ranges in one single training session. And then just like on the beginner level, try and do this for as long as humanly possible. Make the most amount of progress on the least amount of work possible. Keep it as simple as you can possibly keep it without having to overcomplicate it if you can still get results on a much simpler setup. And then let's go into the advanced athletes. I'm going to breeze through this a little bit quicker simply because most people don't have to do these complicated things to make progress because most people simply are not at this advanced level yet. As an advanced athlete, making progress on your weight of pull-ups is going to become very, very difficult and you have to be that much more methodical about your training and your nutrition. Because at this point in time, things like your diet, your recovery and your sleep will become much, much more important because once again, it's going to be that much harder to make additional progress. So you also have to take a look at all the external factors that make up your recovery alongside your training. At this point in time, it can really be beneficial to start macro analyzing your technique and to work on specific weak points. And that includes things like pause sets if you're very, very weak at the bottom of the movement. It includes doing things like doing with a pull-up with a resistance band if you're very, very weak at the top part of the movement. Or doing things like top holds, explosive weighted pull-ups and all those types of things that really can make a massive difference if you're an advanced athlete but once again if you're a beginner or an intermediate trainee you don't have to do these things just track your numbers and work in different rep ranges and when you're an advanced athlete also things like mesocycles and those kind of things become more important if you don't know what a meso cycle is and you don't actually know how, how all that kind of thing works, it pretty much means that you're going to be focusing on different things within training blocks. For example, you're going to focus on hypertrophy for, let's say, about six to eight weeks before then going back into some strength work to then put the amount of muscle that you gained in your hypertrophy training block to good use for your strength training. But that is all pretty much for the advanced athletes out there. At that point, once again, micro analyzing your technique and really focusing on weak points in what you have to do at that level. But once again, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate trainee, it just literally is as simple as working in more than one rep range. And that is going to be the entire video for today. Hope you guys actually found it informative or helpful. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you guys have any more questions, video ideas or advice, leave it down below in the comment section. Share this video with somebody that you think it might be helpful to. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's over on a Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Three videos a week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Latest.